All right, guys, so I went into Walmart today because uh, a lot of the Wave 2 stuff is starting to show up. And I went in looking for uh, the Prime Masters, Alpha Trine and Alchemist Prime, uh, Landmine and Submarauder, uh, because I'm, I'm really digging the, the Prime Masters and the little pretender shells. And they've been spotted along with the Voyagers and uh, and the Legends, which and I already have Battle Trap and, and Tailgate. And, uh, and I'll probably get Hunger and Alita 1 at some point. I think Alita 1 looks like a really nice figure in, like, the Terracons. Like, I'm, I'm not a real big Abominus fan. If they were doing the Piranacons, I'd be all over it. Um, although I really kind of want to get that TFC Poseidon, but uh, that's just outside of my monetary uh, 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 abilities right now. <laughs> like, I just can't spend that much on it. But... Uh, yeah, so I'll probably get the Terracons at some point. I will probably get Elite One. And if I see them, then, you know, obviously if I see them, I'll probably pick them up. I'm not, I'm not hunting, hunting them yet. Uh, but I did want to get the Prime Masters. Obviously the Deluxes haven't been spotted yet. It would have been cool if I managed to find them. But uh, I do want... Snarl, Sludge, and Blackwing are absolutely getting bought right away. Uh, Moon Racer and uh, Ripper Snapper are, will be eventual purchases. But uh, the, two, the last two Dinobots and... Uh, Darkwing or Blackwing, whatever they're calling him, are definitely going to be getting. So, but I didn't see, I didn't see any of those. Uh, I didn't see any of the Voyagers. There weren't even spots for the Prime Masters. Uh, it was just a bunch of Wave One stuff. However, when I dug behind the Voyagers, there were some Grimlocks and some Star Screams there to see uh, if maybe there was anything hiding behind them. No Voyagers. I did, however, find Rodimus Unicronus, which is the repaint of Rodimus Prime. The kind of he's got a Decepticon symbol, so. Not shattered glass, but really kind of shattered glass. Opera Rodimus. Uh, he came with the Amalgamus card. So Rodimus Amalgamus Unicronus, or Unicronus, however you want to say it, uh, takes the shape that brings maximum destruction. In this case, a goateed Rodimus Prime. <laughs> so you get that, and you get the instructions with the alternate head and all that good stuff. And there's not a whole lot really, uh, again, Obviously, a remolded head in combined mode, but for the most part, there's nothing me and you know in the paint scheme. There's nothing majorly changed about this figure. Everything that was that was an issue on Rodimus and Rodimus Prime is is still or, you know Hot Rod Rodimus Prime is still present here on the uh, this this gray, gray repaint. I do think the colors work a little better because you don't have that slight color mismatch between hot, the base hot rod and the combined mode. So it, it, it works together as a coherent whole when it's combined. And I do really like the, 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 the new head sculpt. But uh, like I said, if, if, if anything you had an issue with on Rodimus, uh, unless it was a, a, just a simple quality control issue, uh, is still present here on, on Unicronus. It's, uh, the stickers are still here. You can see this one's already kind of peeled back a little bit. Um, I'm trying to be really careful about it, but these thin foil stickers are not great. Yeah, so here's a quick comparison between the two, just to show off the the color schemes. Obviously, purple and silver. I'm not going to describe them all. You, you can you have eyes. <laughs> um, so yeah, just to show them off in vehicle mode. And again, you just pop these up. Transformation is exactly the same. We're not going to dwell too heavily on that. Flip these up and tab those. And tab these from back here. And fold these panels back onto the legs, and then just untab the smaller vehicle from up there and from back here, and fold the uh, little exhaust pipes back. And there is the base car mode. And it's the same old car where you use, it's, it's, it's a really nice color scheme. It's got a, he's got a red translucent uh, canopy here, and uh, it's coming up a little bit there, but that's just because I need to fix that. This, uh, this hinge, I will say, this hinge seems to work much easier and with less friction than the original one did. The original hot rod, if you remember, like I didn't have it quite level because it was super tight. This hinge up here was really almost, it sounded like it was gonna crack the first time that I managed to pop it straight. Um, and I just shaved the front edge down a little bit and it hasn't been a problem since. But, um, but yeah, this, uh, all, the, all the molding detail here is the same. Obviously the flame pattern is different and uh, has the Decepticon symbol. It doesn't have the shattered glass Autobot symbol like we saw on one of the early hand-painted prototypes, but uh, I'll, I can live with that. It is kind of a neat little design. Like I said, and the gray and black and purple is a really nice layout as well. 
So, yeah, there's that. Transforms the smaller robot. Again, everything is exactly the same. So we'll bring these up. We will pop, again, to, to pop these off and on, it helps just kind of grab them from the outside and twist. Uh, and say, and going back is the same way. Kind of get the tab, in this inner tab up here, and then twist it up onto this middle tab is the easiest way to do it. Just a small little twist. And then pop this open, flip out the foot. Again, pop this open, flip out the foot. We'll take this around and tab it into here. Pull the arms out. Uh, away from this top piece. Nope, oh, pop this wheel off. That's easy enough to pop right back on. Ta-da! And then this comes up. Pull the center piece out. Although well, you can see his combined mode in there, but I don't want to show it off yet. I don't want to show it off yet. You may have seen it a quick peek at it. Flip this up, make sure that's tabbed into the back. And then uh, here is the uh, the painted, oh, I'm gonna tab this here. Come on, there we go. Painted, but the, the base or hot rod here in uh, his purple and gray scheme and silver. There's some silver on there as well, up in the neck and the legs. And he can hold, uh, like I said, the smaller guns can come off of the armor piece here. He can hold those as weapons individually. Let's do a quick turnaround here. And here he is with the original color scheme. Again, just to give you a look of the two of them together. I do like the purple forehead crest up here. Now, one of the things I showed off on Twitter, I don't remember if I did a video for this here on the channel or if it was just a quick thing on YouTube and a picture I posted. But So this thing, people complained about being able to see this windshield through here. And, uh, and if this is a repeat, I apologize. But if you lift this up, the way this joint works is it just slides into place. It's just a little pin, pin joint. Little, you can see what I'm saying, the rotational port right there. And then a, a socket right here, and it just slides up in there like that. So if you really don't like this this hood hanging down between his legs, you can just slide it up and fold it up like it would be in, in vehicle mode. And then this tab up here, like it's not gonna, you're not gonna go flying him around and flinging him around by it. But if you if you plug that into the to his back, I mean, it's secure enough to pick him up by, and you can leave that folded up on his back like that. It does make him a little bit of a parts former if you're just completely opposed to that. But, um, it's it's not like you're unscrewing anything or making it permanently a parts form where it designs a slot right in there. And uh, then you don't have to worry about it. So it's entirely up to you how you want to do that. Just an option. We'll go ahead and snap it back into place. And to combine them, go ahead and take the weapons out. Bring this in. Rotate his smaller head back around. First few times on these things are tight. Um, snap these back up into place up here. Put this back up, rotate it around like that. Pull his feet back up and in. Then crack him in half here. Bring his legs out to the side. Pull the whole thing down and around. Bring his legs up. And again, remember, when you do this, there's a little tab here. You want to make sure that actually clicks into place when you're doing it. There you see that in the head scope. We'll show that off a little bit more clearly here in a moment. Keep these facing the right way. So there's his torso bit. And then here we're going to go ahead and pop the arms out of this. Sometimes they'll come out together, sometimes they won't. Go ahead and fold those back on each side. Got the arm pieces, take this, unpeg the feet, which are tabbed in here, unpeg the legs from this, open this up, bring this whole assembly down and around, pull this down, rotate this around onto the back, and flip out his heels, stand them up. You can see he's got a uh, gray frame with a dark purple and black matrix inside of it. And a 
red jewel and just like before it can pop out and you can put a Titan Master in there if you want. And then plug that back in. And then we'll take the upper torso, lift this up just a little bit more. We'll attach his arms, which again, just clip on to these clips here on the shoulders. Combine his rifle, just like that. And then slot this right up into here. Clip his Keep rotating away from me here. Slide this in, clip it into place up here. Come on, you. There we go. Then fold his chest down, lock it all into place. And I love his new head sculpt. He's a little, still a little out of frame. We'll give him his rifle. He's got the goatee. People refer to him as Lemmy, and I get it. But, uh, he looks different enough that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with having both of them on the shelf. Because one, like I said, the, the blacks aren't as differentiated in, in the maroon magentas as the hot rod is. Uh, so he just has a more unified look to him. The purple and black and gray and silver and red all comes together really, you know, what little bit of the red there is, comes together really well. He's a very impressive looking robot and again like i said that head sculpt and and the and the chest detail differentiates him enough from the original that he's really kind of cool and worth having as a separate piece on your shelf and of course just to show that off here they are uh, side by side together and you can see like I said, Rodimus, I mean Rodimus is kind of iconic he has that orange and red with a bright flame color scheme but uh this is different enough that it's not, uh, like I said, it, it, they look cool together. And uh, and like I said, because there, there's not that slight color disconnect like you can hear. I get why they did it on Rodimus because, you know, I, I appreciate that we have a good-looking Rodimus and a good-looking Hot Rod. And, and they even uh, match their colors a little bit. But, you know, there is, a, there is still visually a little bit of a disconnect here where the arms connect. Whereas on this one, it, it blends together a little bit better because of the unified color scheme. Which is fine. It would have been nice if he'd had the Shattered Glass Autobot logo just to have an officially released Shattered Glass Rodimus. But, um, because they did the, uh, the Masterpiece Prime, uh, in the Shattered Glass colors, which is really cool. And it would be neat to have, uh, have the two of them together. And then just for the sake of it, here's all the Power of the Prime's leaders together in one shot. So yeah, Rodimus went bad. That's, that's, he's Rodimus Unicronus because supposedly the uh, description is that he got corrupted and became an agent of evil. Again, which kind of makes the Decepticon symbol make sense. Whatever, whatever they needed to it. I really like dig the new head sculpt. Let's see if we can't pull this in here and get a close-up of this new head sculpt. So look at that. He's got the mustache and the shades. And like he does kind of look like Lemmy, but like... He just looks like he'd kick some butt. And he looks differentiated enough from Rodimus that even sharing the base body, if he told me he was an entirely different character, like an original with a whole name and not related to Hot Rod at all, well, okay, I probably wouldn't believe it because his alt mode is still the Space Winnebago and the Hot Rod car. But uh, just in robot mode, I could believe it. So, yeah. But there he is. Very cool and unexpected find today. He was not one I was on the hunt for. Uh, he was, it, was, it was one that I was going to pick up if I found him, but I did not intentionally go out looking for him. Uh, he's been showing up at Targets. I hadn't realized he had been showing up at Walmarts as well. Because, uh, like I said, I went in looking for the Voyagers, or more specific, you know, more importantly, the uh, the new Prime Masters. And he was hiding. There's one single one of him hiding behind the Voyagers on the bottom shelf. But there is Power of the Prime's leader, Rodimus Unicronus.